Good morning. Uh, so today, uh, something a little bit different. Um, I noticed that uh, Lee has released uh, version 2 beta 38 of the Wales um, app builder. Um, and as I maintain the uh, Nix packages release of that, um, I thought best um, build it, test it, and uh, push it up to Nix packages um, for release. So let's do that. Um, so um, the first thing I need to do is update my fork of Nix packages. It's a few, you know, 1,211 commits behind at the moment, which is only a few days work. So that's my fork up to date. Um, and then uh, I shall check that out, or rather update my checkout. Uh, yeah, this one. So get fetch minus p to drop any extra packages. Might take a couple of seconds. Right. So uh, the last thing I built here was obviously Juju uh, when I pushed up a change for that. Um, so uh, let's do the work for this. So um, what do we need to do? Um, let's make this bigger um, and I'll just bump up the uh, size here a little bit as well. There you go. So I'm going to be uh, on the command line quite a bit today. Um, so I need to edit. Um, now I've got to remember where it is now. It's patches, development tools, Wales. Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, the build uh, script for the next packages version. Um, and all I need to do is update two things, uh, three possibly. Um, so this is the version, um, and this determines um, where this fetch from GitHub is actually going to pull. It's a tag, basically. Um, so let's update this to 38. Um, and to make sure that um, when you're doing next packages, it, um, it verifies everything. So it's going to do a pull of that tag, um, and then it's going to uh, do a checksum on it um, using the SHA-256 in this case. Um, and this is not going to match. Um, but because that's there, um, and because I've used Wales on here before, it will actually find that, which you don't want. It will find a version that exists, and it won't do anything more. Um, so I need to um, scupper this. So I'll just zero this out leave the equals at the end so it's actually kind of semi sort of valid and i'm going to do the same on here as well but this might not change or that actually depends on what files have been uh, downloaded um uh, in the go um side of things um, and it just checks the vendor in of the go um stuff there um which is a second check um, and I'm going to zero that out as well. So that basically means we're going to go grab 2b to 38 and then it's going to fail to validate which will give me a checksum that it found um, and which I can just put that in there. So it's a bit of a cheat. There are tools to do the opposite but anyway. So now I just need to build this. So oops, nix build uh, minus a so that means the attribute wells and by default it's going to use this um, repository uh, as its build so it's off downloading uh, wells just now 
There you go. So it's filed there. As expected. Um, and that gives me the uh, the checksum that I need. So let's just take that. So we'll update that now. Oop. Went too far. Okay. Now we run it again. And this time it will fail because of the uh, the go go side of things, checking all the dependencies and stuff. Basically, it's a slightly different check. This is the bit that takes a bit of time because it's actually doing a build. But it should fail very soon. Come on. There we go. All right. Oh, it is a different, a different checks on there. So things have updated. A few dependencies have changed in this version. Okay. So let's just clear that and then I'll run it again. And hopefully this will complete the job. There you go. And there we go. So we now have um, this new build of Wales version 2 beta 38 in the next store. Uh, but I'm not actually using that anywhere at the moment. So if I were to go um, to where? No. If I go to where I'm actually using Wales in here. Um, just and if I do um, Wales, I think it's version, just version. It's beta 37. And if I do which Wales, you'll see that it's grabbing it from the next door. Um, might be to 37 there. That's interesting, actually. I thought I was using... Uh, Standard one. Let me just double check here. I'll just go here. Do it there. Yeah, okay. So apparently I'm still using the shell environment there. I thought I'd taken that out. I'll have to fix that in a minute. Hmm. Oh no, it's because it's in the shell there. Yeah, it decompose it, that's fine. Yeah, that's something different. That's fine. Um right, so anyway, I am using beta 37 at the moment on my system, but I want to in start testing with this new build that I've made of 38. So I need to do uh, I'm gonna install it to make it easier so that I can use it anywhere on my system. Um, I use nixenv uh, isf dots so that's used today uh, this this version and I want to install the attribute Wales the package with attribute there you go so that's installed in theory so if I go into here um, and I will just do yeah I get rid of some of those things there. Don't know that need those anymore. I've moved to putting all my scratch stuff in here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
just do a clean project with Wales. So here's with Wales. It's in my local profile now, not in the system. Um, and if I do Wales version, it's bid 38. Do Wales doctor. Does that work? Yep. So it's recognized the environment and it knows it's version 38. This kind of stuff here, um, I think at some point I need to um, submit, work out how to, and, um, and then submit um, a PR to uh, the Wales project so that it can determine what dependencies are being used on Nix. Um, it's a little bit different to the different systems uh, that it does work on. Um, so let's create a, a new project. Uh, Wales init minus T svelte, of course, and we'll call it uh, Wales uh, V2 B38, oh dear. Nice catchy. Okay, so that seems to have worked. We've got a new folder directory. There's all the stuff. Look at the whales.json. Yep, usual stuff. Uh, let's have a look at go dot mod. Yep, it's going to pull from the right place. Nice things. What else have we got? Um, It's in there now. Okay, yeah. Start up and greet. Okay. And main. Nice and short. Looks okay to me. Okay, let's build it. So let's do a Wales dev first. See if that works. Still using beta 38, which is good. It's all uh, take a while because it's got new dependencies compared to what I've had before. So it's having to grab all kinds of things. And there we go, it's up and running. I should be able to do this. And yes, hello Nexos. It's show time. That's great. Uh, so let's build that then. Let's see what the binary looks like. Oops. Let's type build correctly. Slightly different dependencies when you do a full on build. Compile in. Okay, so we should now, just show you right. we've got a build directory, and in there is various bits and bobs, and we are interested in bin where there's a Wales uh, v2. So I can just run that. And that's the binary. There you go. Hello, Nexos rules. Cool. Okay, so a clean, simple project seems to work fine. 
Uh, let's see what happens on my slightly more complicated project. Now I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go back and we'll see if it picks up that version. I'm not sure if it will. Let's see. No. Uh, okay, so how am I going to do that? Yeah, I need to do basically the same thing. Uh, so, yeah, because I'm, I build, I use a, a shell for the environment for this build and stuff. Uh, I need to basically take these and use them. So I need that. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's just go away back here. So I've got this overlay here that I'm just going to test in. So first thing, it's basically exactly the same as the uh, the build script. Step four, it's just kind of slightly changed so that it's uh, usable as a overlay. So it's using things like super and does it use anything else? No, it's all just like super really, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I need to update the vendor shell as well. So I'll grab that. Let's do that. Okay. So all right, and then I need to update my shells to use the overlay. So what this does is it's going to import next packages, but then it's going to overlay that little script that I've just edited, uh, which means that it's going to say, hey, use this version of Wales instead, please. Um, and then the native in build input here, Wales, will pick it up for my overlay not from the sort of the systems Wales version. So it's updated there. So what that means is it's actually going to have to build it. Get a lot more output when you do it that way. So we're rebuilding Wales, but it's going to have slightly different um, inheritance, I suppose. Okay. So I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to do this just to make sure everything's clean. And then I'm going to do which whales and it's saying it's that. So that is, uh, it's like I, I, yeah, I, Y, X, A and a bunch of stuff. Whereas if I go back to here, and I do which whales, and then I do uh, file which whales. It's a different store path. Oh, oh of course, that's a script. Yeah, because it's got a wrapper. Um, Maybe it's better just to do ls minus l. And then... Let's check that. I just 
just want to see whether they're different. They should be. Yeah, it's a different package path. Starting the 38 di blah, 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 to the WOWS wrapper, which is fine. Um, so anyway, so I now have WOWS 38 in my snippet pixie project. So I should be able to do, do a make clean all. Let's just kill the daemon up there before I do that. Make sure that's picked up everything new. That's not using CLI, so that's fine. I'll leave that where it is. So make clean all. And then I'm going to do a make. Oh, no. So I've got to be careful here. So I need to update nearly made a mistake there. So in here, I need to update the go mod to use the new version. So we want to use 38. And we're not replacing anything, that's good. Because it's released, I can just use the core uh, libraries and stuff. Okay. So git diff, all we've updated is the go mod there. And then our shell environment. So in here, I should really do, well, I can do it in from the base. Let's do this. We're going to do a make tidy and that's just going to run um, go mod tidy on each package including the GUI which might do some stuff. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 all right. I can't do it like that without um, having built some stuff. Let me quickly do that. So make clean all again, just to make sure. What have we got as a status now? Yeah, same things are updated. That's fine. Okay. Let's just do a make. Hmm. Why is that broken then? What have I done? Oh, okay. All right. Just going to go in there and do the sensible thing, I think. Well, it's dev. See what happens. I should complain about the... Uh, they may not been available, but that's fine. Because I've not started it. Okay, that's fine. 
And then in here, nice. It's red now. Okay, and there we go, it's working. I oh, should be able to go in there. No problem. Okay, so that's working. Can I get to here? Yep. Yeah. And add. Yep. Yeah. So that's fine. I should probably test something there. So let's do um, V to thirty eight. That is here. Okay. And can I remove it? Yes. Okay. So that's working. So in theory, I can make here as well now. Let's see what happens. I just needed to kind of prime, prime the pump as such with uh, doing a Wales dev to get everything kind of in place for the dependencies. It's looking okay so far. So I should have a build, bin, snippet mixy GUI, and that too works as well. Um, and I should be able to do, let's do, um, oh, that's a new one. Or is that just because I'm quitting? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's do the wrong thing there. So I should be able to pick this. And if I do a shift enter, there we go. It does that. Interesting that um, I'm getting that now. GTK main quit. I'll have to look into that. It might be the way that I'm quitting. It's not liking it. But we'll see. Otherwise, it seems to be working fine. Um, it's not stopping me from doing the job. So that's a success then. So let's... Um, let's do the do here. So um, we need to create a branch for this then. Uh, I can do this, can't I? Um, Wales V2. Da, 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 beta. 38. Okay. Everything's fine there. And then I should be able to do just double check that everything's fine. Yeah. 
add. That is fine. And then it's um, Wales B2. Beta, oops, beta 37 to V2, beta 38. It's a particular format that you do the um, commit messages in uh, for next packages to keep it uh, consistent and so people know what's what. Um, so yeah, B2, B to 37, B2, B to 38, that's all we need to say. There we go. And then I can push that to my, bar, uh, to my fork. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and then I have to set up stream, so we'll just do that. There we go. There we go. So I can now create a pull request on GitHub. Change login. That's it. That's all we need, really. Just so that people know what's changed. Right, get rid of this comment because that shows up in all kinds of places that you don't really want it to. <clears throat> so I have built it on x86. I haven't built it anywhere else. Um, I do actually have sand up, Sandbox True, but they don't seem to care about me doing that there. Tested that as application. Yes. Oh, so I tested as applicable. <laughs> Not reading well today. All right, there's no test, so that's not me. There's no dependencies. Uh, but I have tested the actual functionality. So it says, like, usually result bin. So in here, you can see that uh, we've got the result, and it's pointing to the store where it puts it. Um, but I've actually installed it. And uh, tested. Uh, Package I add release notes entry if the change is a major note. There's no module, no module. There's no release note changes. I believe it fits the contribution. So that should be okay. Yep, I think we're good. I think I can open that. Wales, bit to do, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Let's double check. Yep. A very simple one. Create pull request. Sorted. 
All right, so that will do its thing now. Um, go through uh, automated tests, and then eventually it will uh, sort of ping someone to kind of have a look at it. Um, and hopefully it will get merged at some point. That's it. So in the meantime, while that's doing its thing, I mean, that could take a few days. Um, I can update my my version of Snippet Pixie <clears throat> so that it now uses this. So let's have a look go back here and see what the diff is now. Did it update anything else? It did. All right, so. That's changed. It moved that, but put it in the debounce. Okay. Removed an order dependency on the UID, so it's only using one two now one one two so it's cleaned up yeah okay that's fine now michelle i know has changed and so is that okay so that's fine so i can uh, oops Package this up for myself. Um, what should do? And then that should start building. The, and do some tests, hopefully, on uh, Source Hut. So let's um, Right, what I want to do is I want to do another clean build. Let's see if it works now. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see how I... Fine. What's it doing? I don't want the red. Pick that up from somewhere. Uh, right, so if I go back into here, run the build. It's still good. V2 is not there. Yep, 
I'm happy. That's good. It's working fine. Do you need to look into this though at some point? Um, seems a little bit iffy, but that's going to have to be for another day. Just wanted to build the uh, package and stuff. So uh, that's it for me today. Um, that's all I need to do. Um, I'll uh, keep it nice and short and sweet. Um, we'll uh, keep our fingers crossed that that uh, PR makes its way through Nick's packages reasonably quick. So until next time, thanks for watching uh, and take care.